Hey guys, welcome to Hip Hughes History. Um, we're going to take five minutes out of your sweet life to uh, take you through the amendment procedure and some of the easier amendments that you can remember for your exams coming up or if you're just crazy on the internet and you want to remember some dumb stuff. Um, first of all, make sure that you know what the amendment procedure is. And of course, the amendment procedure, sometimes I'll explain in classes like a pencil and an eraser, kind of with a string off the Constitution. It allows us to kind of physically change the Constitution. And we've done this 17 times if you uh, don't include the first 10 amendments which is the Bill of Rights, and uh, there are four ways that you can do that. We're not going to go through each way, we're just going to take you through the main way, which is You can do that, right? Watch, ready? Two-thirds of both houses, three-fourths of all states. Two-thirds of both houses, three-fourths of all states. And if you do that kind of supermajority process, not only have you kind of given yourself a great illustration of federalism, that we have the federal government involved in changing the Constitution as well as the states, but uh, it's just a good beat to do. So let's do that, all right? Let's take you through maybe seven or eight big constitutional amendments that are kind of easy to remember because uh, there's mnemonic devices and uh, there's things you can do to remember them. So, uh, 315. If you take 13, 14, and 15, we want you to combine them into one big kind of sound, 15. And that will at least remind you that they go together. And uh, I am talking about the Reconstruction Amendments, free citizens vote. The 13th Amendment, free, is abolishing slavery. The 14th Amendment, citizenship for African Americans, makes all natural born citizens, um, American citizens. And there's also an equal and due process clause in there that we can look at at different lectures. And uh, 15 is citizenship for, I'm sorry, black male vote. Free citizens vote. 15 vote, black male vote. So, third 15. Uh, the 16th Amendment, I always kind of remember, it's kind of stupid, but it works for me, is I remember Sweet 16. And then I think, what does every 16-year-old want for their birthday inside that birthday card? And it is mo mo money. So that at least brings me to an economic concept, and that is income tax. Income tax was not in the original Constitution, that delegated power. So now the federal government, with Woodrow Wilson, is going to be able to raise vast amounts of resources um, using the income tax. And in America, we've always had a progressive income tax, meaning that the more money you make, kind of the percentage of uh, the money that we take from you and redistribute through uh, you know, opportunity programs and other things uh, is going to happen. Um, 17th, uh, you just kind of spell it and you'll be done after the first two letters. So how do you spell 17? S-E, Senate, and uh, then you have to go to the idea of D-D, which is direct democracy for the Senate, meaning that we vote for our senators directly rather than having them appointed through state legislators. Um, 18 and 21, I kind of do that. I remember these are drinking ages in American history, and it has nothing to do with ages, but it does have something to do with drinking. So the 18th Amendment is prohibition. Um, this occurred in the 1920s when we kind of banned booze. Um, didn't work out, you know, kind of Al Capone, you know, violence, all that good, bad stuff. And then uh, FDR comes to town with the 21st Amendment. Um, not that he did it, but the 21st Amendment is the repeal of prohibition, and it's a great example of the pencil side of the eraser. Pencil side of the, the eraser side of the pencil. That not only are we writing in the 21st Amendment, but by writing the 21st Amendment, we're erasing the 18th Amendment. 22nd Amendment's really easy to remember. You just say 222, 22222, no more than two terms. And of course, this is writing down part of the unwritten Constitution that was set down in George Washington's farewell address when he stepped down after his second term. But now that FDR has kind of broken that rule, we're going to write that down, 22nd Amendment. Um, 26th is easy to remember. If you just remember to add the digits of the number 26, you will get 2 plus 6 is 8. 18, 18 year old vote and this has everything to do with Vietnam the idea that you could get shot in your face but you couldn't vote so with the 26th amendment now you can get drafted get shot in your face and you can still vote if you succeed the shot in your face so there you go guys those are some really great amendments that are easy to remember 13 14 15 remember is the reconstruction idea 16 happy birthday income tax 17 se senate direct democracy 1821 prohibition repeal 22nd no more than two terms 26 18 year old vote so we hope that you learned something um, if you haven't subscribed to hip Hughes history you want to kind of click on Paul Ryan's bobblehead and it'll take you right to a subscription page and uh, I'll even bobble as I say it because it's that cool um, other than that make sure you check out the other edu gurus that are listed in my description below so you can grow your brain twice its size and if you want to grow your brain five times its size you're gonna click on those edu geniuses that are listed below as well and uh, you'll You'll learn more than you learned in school. Trust me that. All right, guys, so that's it. Shut the hell up. My God. All right, there you go. Johnny Cash, baby.